Hey guys, welcome back. We are gonna do water signs today. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Only take what resonates. Leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. Know that roles can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be your person. And tarot is for entertainment purposes. Also to give you some clarity to your situation. I do talk a little dirty, so if you get offended by any uh, dirty talk, just find your way out of the read. Come again another day. All right, if you'd like to book a personal read, the description box is below. Head over to rootsandrewards.com. I accept Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. PayPal, you have to message me over on uh, Instagram, Roots and Rewards. Make sure you guys are following me on TikTok. I'm going to be going uh, live uh, Thursdays. Besi I'm not going to be live um, the 14th, though. Okay, But I will be live this Thursday on TikTok. Uh, TikTok name is Roots and Rewards, Jesse Ray. Okay. Alright, water signs. So it's looking like you may be connecting with a Cancer, uh, possible Pisces, or that's you. Uh, so you're trying to use your intuition about a soulmate connection that maybe something's, somebody's hiding something, someone's in the background. Uh, maybe this person hasn't been shown to you just yet. We're going to see. All right, what's going on with the water signs? You don't have to be a water sign for this read to resonate with you. There has been an ending here. There has been disappointment. And someone's still uh, holding on to uh, the ending. Feeling regret. Feeling, um, you know, still replaying the um, spilt milk. Disappointment over the ending. Could be a Scorpio. That could be you. All right, so what's going on with the water signs? What are they needing to hear for the higher good? I keep seeing the nine of cups, so that's good to see. Uh, you feeling better in your energy. There's someone that's unable to walk away from this connection and uh, explore something else. With the three of wands, someone's not wanting to walk away. Somebody is very indecisive on how to make this connection work with you or vice versa lack of effort someone's distant and showing up cold here someone feels that there is no emotional new emotional beginnings here someone's emotions aren't being met someone's not feeling fulfilled not feeling very happy emotionally so be dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn this person shows up very stable financially very stable emotionally not so much a little bit emotionally immature there's a judgment call that's being made with this person this person may decide to hold continue to hold back or maybe this is you someone's being greedy and selfish with their time and uh, possible finances someone might wear uh, ruby rings you for, could be from new orleans someone may be pregnant also or become pregnant so be careful of that there's some type of communication that's coming in uh, regarding feeling victimized or abused or downplayed so there's going to be some truth spoken with this person all right so coming out of heartbreak three of swords is in reverse you are at a crossroads with this person you don't know which way to go What's going on with the water signs and their person? Yeah, stress the fuck out. You place yourself. You you probably stressed out about this person. About giving communication. You're you just replaying the conflict, waiting on messages, waiting for uh, uh, to become wiser, or waiting for this person to become wiser, or waiting for them to fly back to you. This person um, I feel like this person just stopped giving they just stopped giving stopped bending over backwards for you death card keeps coming out but the three of swords keeps coming out too in reverse so that's really good so you're you're uh, conquering the hurt and the, the heartbreak you're moving 
you're moving away from that heartbreak. Cancer showing very heavily in this read. Yeah, not. All right, so this relationship isn't showing any fortune, any abundance to you. So you're needing to stop being nostalgic or stop trying to offer this person abundance because it's not happening. It, it's just not happening as of right now. Energetically, this isn't your best uh, place to stay, water sign. Someone's moving away. There's gonna be communication about the, the 10 of cups about wish fulfillment. How someone's not feeling that they're being fulfilled in this uh, family dynamic, this partnership, this relationship. So someone's running away from this uh, partnership here. Someone's not wanting the Ten of Cups. Someone feels that there's no wish fulfillment here. Turning away, exploring other options, going on a journey and uh, forgetting about the cups that were spilt partnership but someone feels that you're still their partner what's up water signs give me a headache all right let's see so what's next see that that's you're holding on to something that isn't flourishing you're in regret. You gotta clear that up. You gotta clear that up. You could really be missing this person, missing the family, missing your daughter. It's all right though it's okay because it's it's showing that you're gaining victory here you're gaining success you're going to be recognized things are working things are gonna work for you right you don't have to be in this depression because things are working for you if you're worried about money finances they're gonna be good you're saving maybe you're needing to save maybe you're pouring out a little too much Maybe you're not working a lot, slow, like the turtle, turtle pace. Maybe you're trying to gather your funds and it's just coming real, real slow, or you're trying to gain a partnership and it's real, real slow, but you're gonna get it. You're gonna get your partnership. You're gonna get your, your abundance. You're gonna get clarification, illumination. You're getting your joy back. You're becoming balanced here, possible Leo energy, uh, Leo Aries Sag. Uh, See, this is what you have to get rid of. Your stress, anxiety, you feeling trapped and bound to things that don't serve your higher purpose. You may have a, you know, a codependency here on this person. And you feel shackled to them. But you see, you're not. You got to take the blindfold off and see that there are celebrations to be had here. You could have been stuck in a third party situation with this person doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a lover it could be a friend family yeah. work making a judgment call this is judgment call to be patient to be patient and stop trying to sneak away stop trying to run away from your uh, your hardships or your codependency or yourself, your your traumas. I think you guys are trying to run away from yourselves here. It may feel like you're running away from this person, but you're actually deceiving yourself. Yeah, deceiving yourself, <laughs> illusions. You're feeding yourself illusions. You're wanting to speak. Someone wants to apologize here. coming out of the illusions, allowing this shit to crumble. It's not built on solid ground here for you guys. You'll be dealing with an Aries. This relationship is not a solid one. So allow it to crumble and transform from it. So what's happening? Water sign. So 
So it looks like once you allow the tower to crumble, once an apology is spoken, once you come out of these illusions and you heal yourself and fix yourself, there's going to be a rebirth, a transformation of this relationship that you're so heavily trying to hold onto that just doesn't work at this time. Because there's immaturity here that you're coming out of, or this person's coming out of it. Lack of communication. Lack of seeing eye to eye with one another. What's up? You're gaining your, uh, yeah. You're putting the effort into yourself to gain your new emotional beginning. So you're keeping yourself, uh, you're keeping your, your eye on yourself and saying, all right, let me work a little bit more. Let me focus on my finances. Let me focus on myself. Let me focus on putting this energy into myself instead of uh, focusing on this person so heavily. Patience. You're losing patience. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but the patience, um, tempering yourself. Yeah, you're going from hot to cold in your energy. Like a wishy-washy energy. Yeah, you have to stabilize. You have to find your joy. You have to find your balance. You have to drop the burden and the heavy responsibility. And leap towards the unknown. Stop fearing the unknown. This guy keeps coming out of you. I don't know what the fuck he's about. What's he about? It's King of Swords? Maybe, maybe this person's an air sign or has air in their chart. He keeps coming out uh, in reverse. So that may say that this person is uh, definitely wanting to open up communication once you fall back. Or you, you change some kind of behavior. What's this King of Swords wanting? King of Swords, 12.22 on the clock. Ah, oh, you see? See here? You're in a runner-chaser dynamic. Someone's running away from this connection and another person's chasing the other. Runner, in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. And then the chaser is codependent also, fear of abandonment issues. Someone's feeling, you know, that they're going to be abandoned and the other person's like, no, I don't want to be intimate with you because you're just going to run away or you're you're too needy on me. Runner chaser. So you have to get out of this energy attract. This is low frequency energy, not knowing value. There's no reason to run and there's no reason to chase. You just allow things to to come in. You're closing out karmic cycles with this person. You're coming out of the heartbreak. Coming out of separation, letting go and loving you. What else? Photograph, looking at you, missing you, making new memories. And that's what's going to be happening moving forward after you take on a more lighthearted energy and you let things play themselves out. Release control and make sure that you're healing your traumas here that fear of abandonment or fear of intimacy all right guys that's what i got for you this person does like you wants to give kisses to you but you're just like not today someone's just saying not today it needs to you need to be separate at this point all right so i am doing cliffwood caring day july 16th at uh, three up until 10 I'm doing half price in-person reads. If you guys want to come down and meet me, take pictures, check out my merch. I'm making some sugar scrubs. I got some new crystals coming in for you guys. I'm also going to be, so Cliffwood Beach, New Jersey, July 16th, Kennedy Avenue and County Road. Uh, One Stop Superheroes are going to be there, including myself. I am a, a real estate agent here in New Jersey. So you can come down and pick our brains. Uh, we're giving out free CMAs. And I'm also giving uh, out merch and uh, a free personal read. It's going to be raffled off to you guys. Uh, who 
else? Uh, Curves Beauty. Uh, curvy is worthy waist trainers for the curvy, beautiful women out there. So come on down. It's going to be a good time. I'm also going to be at LA Fitness July 14th and July 28th with Bobby B Activewear. If you guys are looking for leggings and sports bras, come down and check them out. Uh, if you buy online, use coupon code JESS15 to get yourself 15% uh, off at Bobby. Uh, b.com you could check over on my instagram for the correct spelling at roots and rewards and yeah so i'm really excited i'm getting banners made and stickers made business cards made we got it all uh over here creations by shiana she's helping me out my friend allison she's a graphic designer so if anybody is looking for a graphic designer contact me and i'll put you in contact with them um and um, if you're looking for an artist, I got Dave Ryan. Uh, he's a comic book artist. Uh, if you're looking to hire someone to draw up uh, your uh, cartoons. Who else? We got a good group over here. So whatever you're looking for, we got you. We got you back. Uh, merch, Mo, he's designing all our merch at One Stop Realty Shop. So go check him out on Instagram. That's it. That's all, folks. So I hope you keep yourselves in high regard. It is looking better. Um, keep focused on you and do what truly makes you happy. All right, stay within your own energy. Next up is going to be air signs. I hope you guys like the read outside. It looks like it's going to storm in a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, but like I said, go outside, sing in the rain, dance in the rain. I think you guys definitely need to do some type of water cleansing, uh, moon water, shower with some salt, Epsom salt, something, something to cleanse this negative energy off you guys. So if you guys um, are booking your personal reads, please pee. <laughs> Maybe you have to pee. <laughs> Please be patient getting your personal reads because I do have a chronic illness. I am a mom of three. I'm a real estate agent, photographer, and your spiritual advisor over here. So uh, you'll get your reads in divine timing. Usually it's a two to three day turnaround and I don't read on the weekends from Friday to Sunday. So just be considerate of that. And uh, yeah, that's it. So hope it Hope it uh, resonated. Hope it gave you some clarity to your situation. And I will see you on the other side next week. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.